Another big story you're following for us tonight in Parliament, the founder of Unibank, Dr. Kwapnado Four, and former CEO of UT Bank, Prince Kofi Amabeng, have petitioned Parliament over the Bank of Ghana's revocation of their banking license. They are asking the legislature to investigate the conduct of uh, Bank of Ghana in the takeover. Tell us more about what they are seeking. Well, so, um, Dario, we do not have a preview to the the real petition mm. as submitted to the house now we just got snippets of it which was captured in the business statement for next week that indeed the two have petitioned the house to investigate the conduct of uh, bank of ghana vis-a-vis uh, -vis the evocation of their banking licenses and i i got a quick reaction from the majority leader he's surprised and quite disappointed that in the first place the speaker would even admit a petition like that in his own view the two are seeking to pitch parliament against the judiciary and now you know that you've been following this case for a very long time mm. that the matter is still before courts and courts That's are still true. dealing with the matter and so if you bring the same matter that is before the courts to parliament then what are you seeking to do so in his view uh, the speaker should have blocked the petition but however he's been admitted and he's raising concerns that what if parliament makes a determination that well the revocation was wrong and that you need to restore their license and the judiciary rule that well bank of ghana made the right decision by withdrawing your license what then happens a conflict between two arm of government so he would have preferred that the matter will travel at full length at the judiciary, and perhaps if they are not satisfied, then maybe they can come to Parliament uh, for Parliament to also investigate if the outcome may be different from that of the judiciary. So that is his position on that. But uh, what we know for a fact is that on Monday, the matter will be before the House, members of the House, and then the Speaker will refer the matter to the Finance Committee then the final co Finance Committee will then commence with the investigations into the matter. That is if there is no opposition or resistance to the petition before the House. We've got very interesting days ahead. Thank you so much, Chrissy Parker Wilson, is our parliamentary correspondent, bringing us up to speed on those two stories you're following for you from there.